Hey, what's going on fellow gamers? My name is Virginia and I am also known as the Buckeye Gamer. Um, quick uh, rundown before I really get into this video. Um, I actually came up with that name when I was about halfway home from work one day because I really wanted to get into the YouTube gaming scene and part of the noise on there. Um, and I figure I live in Ohio and Ohio is also known as the Buckeye State. And I happen to love gaming, so I figured, you know what, that name, it might sound super cheesy, but it is so perfect for me. So that is what I went with. Um, quick uh, little view of my gaming setup here. Um, you will see I am a big fan of the PS4. I have a ton of games, as you'll see here in a moment. Um, I have a Star Wars themed uh, PS4 Pro. And I also have a Minecraft edition Xbox One X. Almost said X. <laughs> Xbox One S. Um, and then I have my controller set up over here. Um, very cool. A couple hard drives, my PS4 controller, um, and my awesome uh, Samsung 40 inch 4K TV, if I can get this view right, uh, with a very, very gorgeous Horizon Zero Dawn background. And you'll see how much I love Horizon Zero Dawn again here in just a moment. Um, so without further ado, let's get on with the game room tour. All right, so here we are with the collection slash game room tour. Um, I'm, I have a big mess of clutter on that particular side of the room, so I'm gonna try to keep that out of the video as much as possible. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm gonna cover uh, this big cabinet here really quick. This is actually part of my Disney collection, and if you can't already tell, I am a huge, huge Disney fanatic. Um, not really go, gonna go into big detail about all I have here. I just want to cover this really quick. Um, and I also have some more limited edition Disney dolls. Um, I have, those are 17 inch dolls right there and I actually have a couple in the back. I just don't have a proper way to display these right now. Um, and then these two dolls, I wasn't exactly sure where to put these. I have a Korean ethnic doll and a Thailand ethnic doll. I actually got sent uh, a couple of my friends over who live in these particular countries sent these to me. Um, this one was for Christmas and then this one was a birthday present and I will be forever grateful because these dolls are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then also I have here uh, Disney, these were limited edition dolls as well, the Disney Princess Designer Collection. This was a uh, set was released back in 2011 and let me tell you that was one heck of a fiasco to try to get these dolls. Um, that might be something I go into a little bit later um, <laughs> about the fun that we had with that. Um, and I also have down here, I have a Snow White. Um, these are called Kidada figures. I have a Snow White one. I have a Pocahontas one. And uh, you'll see my favorite here in just a minute. Um, I do also like manga. And here's my One Piece shelf. I'm actually a little bit behind on that. Um, the, the uh, game shelves that you see here actually used to be manga shelves. And right now I feel so bad I have my manga in plastic storage bins. Um, so once I get all that sorted out, uh, my manga will go back up. And I'll probably do a little tour of that as well. So we'll get to the game games here in just a moment. Um, I do want to cover my beloved Mulan shelf. As you can see, Mulan is one of my favorites. I also have a Pocahontas doll and mug there. And a couple dolls and a picture there. Um, again... Space is kind of uh, limited at the moment, so yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, as you can tell, Mulan, I absolutely adore her. Um, and also have this picture up here. This was actually a UK exclusive uh, canvas print. Um, only, uh, I think, 250 got released. So I was lucky enough to be able to get one. I won't say how much it costs. I'm kind of ashamed for what I paid for it. Um, but it is a very beautiful picture. I do apologize for the glare. There's a window like right right next to me um and then when i go down here i have some more stuff uh, some dolls stuffed animals and pop figures and down here i have a stack of dolls i wasn't sure how to display them i actually have a one-of-a-kind doll that's stuffed back there um in a picture i actually got that in a notepad all right but you guys didn't come here to see my disney collection Let's get right to the games. So, all in all, I would say I have roughly, I want to say 17 or 18 systems. Um, and counting, I'm going to count digital games. You know, obviously not everything is displayed here. Um, 
I'm going to say roughly 600 games, but don't quote me on that. So, because obviously all you guys are going to see right here are physical games. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to cover my systems up here really quick. So, I have here the NES Top Loader. Absolutely love that. I have a regular Super Nintendo. There's my old Nintendo 64. That was actually the first game system, um, Nintendo-wise, that I could call my own as a child. And then stuffed way back here, I know you probably can't see it, I have my old Game Boy Color, and I actually have two uh, 3DS systems. This big one back here is my Galaxy Edition new 3DS XL, and this little one right here is actually a Japanese new 3DS, and I got that to play um, some of the virtual console games and exclusive eShop and regular 3DS titles. Absolutely love it. And then down here... The lone Nintendo system on this shelf, I have my silver GameCube with a Nintendo Crossing memory card. Nintendo, oh good lord. Animal Crossing memory card, guys, it's hot, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then I have a Intellivision flashback. Um, I have my Sega Genesis and an old Atari 2600. I actually just got this like four years, four or five years ago. Um, and the retro store that I bought it from gave me five free games with it, so that was pretty cool. And then down here I have my favorite gaming platform of all time, and that is the PlayStation line. So I have the original PS1, which this was actually the very first game console that I could call my own. Um, I got one initially when I was eight years old, and this is not the original system that I had. Um, the other one just kind of died on me, so I, I really... Really missed having an original PlayStation for a while, but I'm so happy to have this in my possession again. And then this is my silver PS2 Slim. Um, my husband and I actually play this a lot. And he had a fat PS2, the black one, and that one inevitably died on him, so we just went out and bought the Slim model, which I actually like this one a lot better. And there's my hubby's memory cards. And down here we have the PS3 Slim. I believe this is 250 gigs, but don't quote me on that. Um, again, I absolutely love the PS3. Um, so glad to have that in my possession. I know it kind of blends in with the black shelves. And then down here, I just have a few books here. We have Guinness World Records 2017 Gamers Edition. And I have Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and Super Mario World comic books. And then inside this Xbox One box is all of my Game Boy... Uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, which I realized I didn't have my Game Boy Advance SP displayed up there. I'll have to find that eventually. Um, and I also have original DS games in here as well, and my Atari 2600 games. I just didn't know how to properly display them, and I had this old box from back in the day when my hubby and I bought our very first console together, which was an Xbox One, ironically. Um, but my husband actually prefers the Xbox One, and I prefer the PS4, but you know what? We don't bash each other for it because there's far more important things in life. Anyway, enough about that. So let's get to the actual games. So uh, really quick, I do want to cover, though, I have a couple collector's editions. I have a Sonic Mania collector's edition, and I actually got the Switch version because I think that actually runs a lot better on the Switch. Just the way it's uh, the graphics are, the gameplay, it felt at home on a Switch for me. And then I also have the Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom Collector's Edition box. Absolutely love Nino Kuni 2. I was in love with the first game, but I think the second one is so much better. If you haven't played it, guys, trust me, you need to get in on it. It is so freaking awesome. All right, so here is my Nintendo shelf. As you can see, I, we do have, um, eh, nah, I wouldn't say a crazy amount of NES games, but we have a small amount there. Um, Again, the majority of these were my husband's games, and he just kind of let me display them here for purpose of this video. Um, so, uh, one game I do want to in particular point out, and you guys have probably seen this so many times before, is Super Mario Bros. 3. And the main reason that I am pointing that out is because that was the very first video game I ever played. Um, at least to my memory. Uh, I was about four years old, and my cousin, a little bit older than me at the time, handed me an NES controller. And I just went to town with it, and ever since then, I have absolutely loved games. Now, 
Obviously at that time I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was just mashing buttons willy-nilly, but I still had a great time. I mean, at four years old, you don't need, really need a lot to entertain yourself. Um, and then up here, I have a very small stack of GameCube games. Um, as you can see, as much as I love Nintendo, I'm not the biggest collector of it. Um, you'll see where my love lies here in a minute if you haven't already been able to tell by stuff I've said throughout this video. But yeah, I have a, do, do have a small stack of my favorite um, GameCube games. I used to have a lot more as a kid, but have very much downsized. And then my only physical Switch game, uh, Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. And the main reason that I got that is that there's a lot of uh, little goodies that you can get in there. Um, and the cartridge of that is actually, the sticker on it, the label, is actually exactly like it was during the Sega Master System days, which is the original platform that this game came on. Um, but I thought that was absolutely cool, so I went ahead and picked that up. But yeah, I've gone mostly digital on my Switch, um, and actually the same goes for my 3DS systems. Um, I've gone digital on those just because of the portability, so makes it a lot easier. I'm one of those collectors who does not mind digital games. Um, and I do have, I have just a couple things for the SNES. I have Stunt Racer FX, you probably can't even see it, and then I have a Super Game Boy player as well. Um, but the main reason I don't actively collect for these particular consoles is, as you can see here, I have the NES and the SNES Classic Editions. Um, and my favorite games are the really super expensive ones. Like on the Super Nintendo, I'll give you some examples. My most favorites are Super Mario RPG, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, which arguably is my favorite Zelda game of all time, and Earthbound, and those are some of the more expensive ones. So, and I just don't have the money right now to really shell out for those games. So as much as I love my physical games, you know, for the sake of finances, this this works. I mean, it's a nice little collector's piece as well, um, but it works. And I do have some other Nintendo themed stuff here. I actually have two sets of Hanafuda cards. Uh, this one I got as a Club Nintendo reward. And then this is an uh, original set of Hanafuda cards. I actually got these uh, during my trip to New York City in 2013. I stopped by the Nintendo store, which is absolutely amazing. Um, if you haven't been to New York City to go to the Nintendo store, you absolutely should. Um, but I, I just wanted a little piece of Nintendo's history. And Hanafuda cards is actually what they started out making. Nintendo's actually been in business in one form or another since the late 1800s. Um, if you know your Nintendo history, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then I have this little uh, uh, Mario collage figure. We got Mario back there. We have Luigi, Yoshi, Toad. We have a Goomba. We have Princess Peach and Bowser. And then, of course, it's not complete without a warp pipe and those bricks. So that, again, was, I believe, in a Club Nintendo reward. And I also have Club Nintendo playing cards. If you didn't know, I used to love Club Nintendo back in the day. Um, kind of wish they didn't get rid of it, but then again, they started offering really crappy rewards in the end, so I can kind of understand why. So I'm going to move this figure out of the way a little bit, and I do have my small stack of Nintendo 64 games. I really need to get in labels on those, um, because aside from the yellow one, which is Donkey Kong 64, I can't remember, like, what game is which. I know which games I own. I just don't know which ones they are at the moment. So, and then I also, even though I don't have the console, I do have a few Wii games, um, I'm not really into collecting for the Wii or Wii U right now. Um, you know, I mean, those were, when I had my Wii, those were my favorite games there. Yes, I, I enjoyed Wii Play. I'm probably one of the only people who can really say that. <laughs> um, and not feel ashamed about it. But, uh, yeah, I will eventually get another Wii. I just need to get around to doing it. And a Wii U as well. And then down here is my small stack of Sega Genesis games. Uh, we have Echo the Dolphin, Home Alone 2, and Lion King in the box. And I also have a stack of loose Genesis cards as well. Um, this is one game I don't mind collecting loose cards for, but honestly I would prefer um, this one. I, I do kind of prefer the cases, but if I can only get loose cards, that's perfectly fine. And then over here, I have my stack of Xbox One games. Now these are the games that I typically play, um, although... My husband, again, being that this is his preferred console, he has a big stack of games that he keeps um, on his person. So that way it's near his console. He doesn't have to go very far to get it. 
So my favorite games on the system are Disneyland Adventures, if you couldn't already tell. I uh, didn't really care for Rush all that much, um, but I do enjoy ReCore. Love the Forza series. Um, I'm probably going to have a lot of uh, PlayStation fans uh, hate me on this, but it's far better than Gran Turismo. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but I mainly get this for the exclusives, although I do have quite a few um, multiplats. Um, now, like Fallout 4 and Titanfall 2, for example, I prefer first-person shooters on the Xbox One. It just feels better with the controller. Uh, Super Lucky's Tale, eh, not a big fan of that. Love Metal Gear Solid, though. That was pretty awesome. Um, and actually, you're, you're going to notice here I have a Flashback Classics Volume 2. I actually prefer this way to play the old Atari games. It's just a lot easier to put in a disc. And there's 50 Atari games that I can choose from. So that makes it so much easier. And then down here is my love, my PlayStation Collection 1 through 4. So you're going to notice up here, I almost didn't want to display these, but I do have Final Fantasy Origins and Final Fantasy Anthology. Uh, I originally bought those from GameStop with them selling retro games. Um, I bought those a while back. I just need to get around to getting a case for them. Like I said, I'm almost ashamed to display them, but I just don't know what else to do with them. Um, and then right here is my small stack of PS1 games. Um, I, had a, I had a fair stack when I was younger. Um, a lot of those games I just didn't have as I got older. Held on to a couple of them. Um, I don't have all the Spyro Trilogy or the Crash Trilogy. So, yeah, I will eventually get those. I know with it being remastered um, and Spyro coming out in September... Not really in a big hurry for that. But I do have The Legend of Dragoon. We have Chrono Cross. Awesome RPGs. Uh, just some good stuff here. I have Tomba. <laughs> that game's uh, pretty expensive. But I got a, got a pretty good deal on it. And then one thing I do want to highlight. I'm not going to take it out because I'm going to make a mess here. I have probably my favorite PS1 game. And that is Legend of Mana. Now, if you haven't noticed, I very much love RPGs. It's like my favorite genre to play and collect. Um, this obviously is not the original case. This is a custom case I had made for this um, because for the longest time, I do not have the original case for that game and I absolutely missed it. Um, but yeah, I actually had this uh, made. I only paid a couple bucks for the case, but I absolutely love it. Um, and then we also have here my small collection of PS2 games. Again, my husband has a really huge stack of PS2 games that he plays, but these are just the ones that I enjoy. I'm going to put those back up there. And then here is my stack of PS3 games. So, so I, I love the PS3, absolutely. Um, didn't get into, get into it as much as I thought I would, but absolutely love it. So we got the Uncharted Trilogy, which I have that remastered on the PS4. Um, we got DuckTales Remastered, absolutely fun platformer. And probably one of my favorite franchises on here is Little Big Planet. So we got one and two, and then Karting, and then 3D Dot Game Heroes, absolutely awesome adventure game. Kind of weird graphics, though. We got some Ratchet and Clank. Uh, we got the Killzone uh, Trilogy. Katamari Forever, absolutely hysterical game. And Red Dead Redemption. Now, one thing I want to point out is I think it absolutely looks awesome in the red case. I know a lot of people don't like the red cases, but I honestly don't mind. Um, I mean, it's the game after all. As long as the case is in good condition, I'm perfectly fine with that. And then my preferred platform this generation, I kind of have to get on the floor for this. Uh, here's my collection of PS4 games. Um, probably here my favorite release so far this year is Detroit Become Human. It's more of a cinematic style game, not really a lot of action in it. So if you really like a lot of action in your games, that's probably not for you. But if you don't mind the cin cinematics, absolutely amazing. It's one of the few games that actually had a cutscene that made me cry my eyes out. Um, then down here we have the Uncharted series. I'm just going to cover some of these um, briefly. We've got The Last of Us Remastered. Uh, let's see, Secret of Mana. I actually like the remastered version of it. A lot of people didn't, but I thought it was pretty awesome. And we got Knack 1 and 2, beat both of those games. Nino Kuni 2. Just a lot of good stuff on the PS4. 
Um, it's a system I highly recommend. Again, it really all depends on the type of games that you like. Now, if you're a first person shooter and a racing type person, then I would recommend that you stick with the Xbox One, but that's just me. And then down here, my shrine to Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, probably by far my favorite game on the PS4 of all time. You know, as much as I love Detroit Become Human, as much as I love Nino Cooney 2, Horizon Zero Dawn just blows them away. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this game without spoilers if you haven't played it. Um, the game is actually, for what you get, the game is super cheap. Like, if you get the complete edition, which I actually have the original release as well as the complete edition because I'm crazy and such a fan. <laughs> it's like some places you can get that for as little as 30 bucks. And I have never seen a game that the price for what you get is absolutely astounding. That That's all I can really say. But yeah, definitely, if I can recommend one exclusive on the PS4, this would be it. I mean, definitely, if you want to get a PS4, definitely get this game day one. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right, guys. And then one other thing I do want to cover over here is my shrine to my favorite franchise of all time, Assassin's Creed. So you can see here we have some Funko Pop figures. Aguilar and Maria, that is from the movie, and then we have Jacob and Evie Fry from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, and then I have pretty much all of the main console releases. Um, one of the only ones I haven't played, though, is Liberation, and I would love to eventually play that. Um, I don't own a PSP or Vita, so I haven't played the spinoffs that were released on those systems. Um, but I, I, will, I will get those systems eventually, for sure. I also have the Assassin's Creed movie, which wasn't the greatest thing ever, but I, I personally enjoyed it. Uh, just a lot of things in the beginning, especially that really confused me. And I have the Assassin's Creed Awakening manga, which is, this is actually based off of graphic novels that were released in America originally. And then I also have my figure of Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. All right, guys. Well, that about does it for this game room and collection tour. I apologize for the wobbliness of my camera. I am just using my iPhone 7 Plus and a selfie stick for the time being because that's all I have. I don't have any kind of fancy schmancy setup. Um, and not doubting anybody that does because those work. Um, but yeah, that about covers this game room slash collection tour. I will, of course, update these periodically, probably once or twice a year. But again, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment if you wish. And also subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys later.